Philip, hey, congratulations on your new film, Twilight of the Warriors. Well then. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Such a mouthful. But let's let's hear it from you first. Is what initially drew you that you wanted to be part of this project? Uh, mainly as a director. Uh, I'm a big fan of Soy, uh Jang Bosa is Soy Jang. Uh so when his people contacted me, I didn't know what project it was. I, I was just excited that he wanted to meet with me and um uh, I love the way that he handles his characters, the way he tells his stories, and and how brutal he is in his storytelling. Uh, I want, always wanted to work with him. I never had a chance to. So when I got the phone call, I went up, and uh, for the first two meetings, I uh, really, really didn't. Uh, he didn't really offer me the role yet. I think he was just trying to get to know me. Um, you know, my he wanted to know my my thoughts on uh, martial arts choreography. Uh, and also as an actor, um, what my thoughts were performing martial arts and, you know, just just, just having a conversation. And then um, by the third meeting, um, he offered me the role of King and he told me as an antagonist in the movie. And um, a very memorable thing that he said was he he said, like, uh, well, you've been making movies in Hong Kong for you know 20 years. Everyone knows who Philip M is. But uh, for this movie, after the costuming, I suspect people would not recognize you. And I said, oh. I'm I'm because I'm such a big fan and I, I wanted to see his approach. So I was like, okay, I'm game. <laughs> Let's see how you're gonna do this. So then anybody we worked together uh, to develop the character and then eventually, you know, uh, you got you got what you got to see on screen. You know what? It is so true because I had to do a double take, triple take just to just to even recognize you because because I recognize you uh, with your you know clean cut look and. Um, and a different mannerism. So, so how did you want to approach King in this uh, project? I think uh, the, the director gave every character, every actor, a sp very specific direction. Just one thing for you to expand upon. Um, for like for for Twelfth Master, he asked uh, Ji Tong, the actor, to uh, maybe play with his hair, be, be you know, be very always want to be very well groomed, you know, you know, to see that kind of. And so he expanded on that, you know, and uh, that informs you on how the how the character and the other characteristics might be. And he all told me to laugh. And I was I, at first I didn't really understood what what he wanted and I was just laughing. But then eventually, okay, give me more laugh, bigger, bigger, bigger. Okay, and so I get it. I get so okay. This kind of laugh that he likes, it's it it makes a character very big in scope, very flamboyant. And also after seeing the costuming, the glasses, the goatee, the the long hair, the suits, you know, the flamboyant suits. You, you, then I started getting an idea of how how to approach this character and. Um, I remember the first day of shooting, we still really didn't get it yet. I think we're in the right direction, but didn't really get the character yet. But then the second day we shot a scene that didn't make it into the final cut, his, uh, me and Samo uh, killing off another character. And um, during that scene, uh, my character has to pick weapons out of a suitcase to kill the guy. And uh, I did it like I, I tried to I, I tried to go in a direction where it's like, oh, it's like a kid picking up like weapons. Oh, you know, like. Be very excited, you know, um, like like a child in a, in a, in, a, in a candy store kind of kind of kind of kind of vibe, and um, and, and it worked, you know. It seems like everyone on set were, you know, they they were, they they got it. They're kind of smiling, laughing at, at my approach, and and most importantly, Soy thought I think he thought it was in, the, in the, I was going in the right direction. So I had confidence to keep developing my character in that way, and eventually, what you saw on screen is is what we developed. <laughs> You know, as an action star, when when you're tra when you're transforming into king, you know, with, with the long hair, the sunglasses, and and everything else, how 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 do you keep all those props up without you know having them f fall all over the place? Pull them in my head. No, I'm just kidding. Um, well, for the glasses, I I did ask him. I'm like, well, you know, I do a lot a lot of fight scenes in this movie, sir. Do I mean, how, do I keep them on? He's like, yes. And um, not a, there's a reason for him to have all this stuff on my face. So, uh, it, it's like he, he wanted to create an image. It's like when you when you drawing comic books, you know, the characters have very distinctive image costume. You know, like um, like Batman has his cowl, right? So King has his sunglasses and his and his whole makeup, his whole you know goatee and his whole you know get up. And uh, when you see that, it's very distinctively him. You know, it's like a very distinct character. And and um, you know, they found many ways to keep everything on my face, like in my glasses. They have the you know this tied to the back; it, it doesn't come off. My wig is the front of my hair is my hair. The back is the wig. Um, and during the fight scenes, heavy fight scenes, they would take a needle and thread, and they they sewed the wig to the back of my suit, so I couldn't take off my suit. Just finding many many ways to keep everything on my face while I'm doing all those stunts. <laughs> <laughs> It it is so amazing, is because of the fact that this, this is a Hong Kong action movie, and you mentioned it's. A, I I feel like King is almost a comic book character himself with the uh, with his own superpowers and uh, and uber strength. 
IP originally was a was a novel. Then it became a popular Hong Kong uh, comic book, and then um, then it transitioned into this movie. Uh, though though the story is based more on the novel version of the story uh, rather than the comic book, but it, but people know about the comic because it's pretty pretty popular in Hong Kong. So so uh, when Soy was making this movie, he made the conscious decision, like the conscious decision to make make the action and make the tone of this movie uh, slightly like like anime or slightly like like a like a comic book or manga. Um, one of the very early decisions that he made to kind of set the tone for this movie was um, in, in the scene where Cyclone punches Chen Makwan into a windowsill and he does a spin, you know. And, uh, and when they first shot it, there was no spin. He just flew straight into the to the, the windowsill. Then maybe not yet. We don't, we're not reaching that tone yet. So then he had uh, Kenji set up the shot where he spins twice. And that's a little bit too much, a little bit too much. So they made him spin a little bit more than halfway. Then, okay, that's good. So they still had, they wanted to get to a point where there is kind of like a comic book feeling, but still rounded and, and the action solid. So I think they definitely got the, got the result they wanted uh, with the final product. It is a whole lot of fun. Now, I, we, we also know that you have been action, um, you know, an action director in few, few projects before. Is it a relief not to be an action director and just, uh, just basically get direction for the fight but choreography for a project like this for me it's half and half like i mean um uh you you're relieved when 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 the action director is is someone of of good repute and and a good friend of yours and someone you trust a lot i mean and then kenji is that person is someone that i've known for 20 years um i love him like a brother and uh you know he's uh he's he's very good at what he does and i trust him 100 percent. so yeah it definitely takes <laughs> it's it's almost a relief in a way and especially since you know you know someone i trust so much but they you know there is discussions because i am uh i do have a skill set and i do have understanding of action choreography and, and direction so there were there were things that there were conversations that i had with kenji to kind of uh, make sure i was able to perform perform well because i mean when you design the action it has to work for the character as well as the actor and then uh for me i, I prefer more grounded kind of solid fighting uh, like what he choreographed for uh for samuel hong and louis ku um, but for my character, he, they, they, you know, the director wanted, and also him, they wanted the difference in the choreography. They wanted like unique movements, and sometimes unique movements call for a lot of wire work or, or things that make the action not as grounded. And that's not what I wanted. So, you know, after a discussion, you know, we came up with, um, or he came up with the design that's both unique and, and grounded and powerful, which you know both both fit the character as well as uh my myself as an actor so yeah so having a competent and and you know very skilled action director choreographer on set makes my job a lot easier <laughs> well said philip let me wrap it up with uh one one last question here you know at the beginning of your career one of your earliest films was a new police story and and currently they're they're talking about making a sequel. How how do you feel about the, um, the return of New Police Story onto uh, you know onto cin cinemas possibly? Um, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited to see what kind of new twist they can put on you know that old formula, right? I mean, like uh, Twilight of the Warriors is you know in uh, in essence is um it's an old school kung fu movie with a new twist, right? And so it kind of it, it it hits with people who love kung fu movies, but also like it hits a it hits a nerve with the new audiences too. So I, I want to see how they approach that when they when they remake that movie. Well said, well said, Philip. Thank you very much uh, for uh, speaking to us about uh, Twilight of the Warriors. Walled in, it it is a pleasant movie. A lot of people who love Hong Kong action definitely wants to watch this. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.